I'll give you a little tour of the Draskin Lugger Anka High here. We'll start back in the galley. We've got the coldest water on the planet. Come out of this Aladdin jug. I think the jug's older. Might be older than the boat. Mmm. That's good. So what we've got stored back here in the storage compartment is uh, some of our cushions, spare life jacket. There's the rest of the galley, whatever kind of snacks we decided to bring with us. In this mode, as uh, we've just come back into the dock, it'll also be the same mode that we uh, turn around and launch. Got the bumpkin uh, retracted so we don't snap it off if we uh, bump into something. I guess that's why they call it the bumpkin into something. Bumpkin, anyway. Uh, made this little uh, crutch for the rudder last year. Works pretty good. We just pick it up, take the little uh, wooden piece out, drop it in. Once we get clear of the dock out to water that's deep enough. Little uh, Suzuki uh, six horsepower, four stroke motor on the back. We went with the six horsepower because it's got a uh, fitting where you can run an external tank in case we want to go for a, a long range cruise. Extra line on the back. Keep the mizzen uh, furled. Got a little uh, lanyard on the back, a little halyard to fly some type of flag or pennant. Got the uh, Admiral's pennant up there at the top of the mizzen. I'm working with this, uh, back to the rudder, working with it up and stowed like this. A little, a little different, we're still getting used to that. Some people will have that tied up to the mizzen when they're launching. Looking at doing some uh, anchoring, maybe uh, stern to the beach. So throw out our forward anchor, it's a little bit bigger down forth. Maybe this will be the one we run up onto the uh, beach. So we're going to play around with that a little bit. Got three modes of power. We got the sail, we got the oar, we got the motor. So we get the oar locks in and ready. And speaking of oars, there was discussion about where to where do people keep them. Well, we've just always kept them on the deck here and learned to walk around them. Don't know if that's the best spot, but that's where we've done it. Keep our safety gear, uh, some extra hats, uh, little cups for the uh, water, a few other bits in that uh, ditty bag over there. Some required safety equipment. Uh, we have a orange panel for a day signal, but we also got some uh, flares, fire extinguisher, a little bit of sunscreen, a couple of fenders. Keep some spare uh, line in there for ties for the sail. Another. Uh, where the uh, Danforth stored over there. We try to remember if we can, we'll have the sail uh, ready to raise. Trying to keep, I've got it on the wrong side here, but we'll try to keep that the opposite side of where we're going to be boarding the boat so we don't step on it, don't slip on it. So we got a boat hook ready if the skipper chooses to use one. The main, uh, we rig everything, we pop the sail out, make sure it's ready to go, and then we lower the uh, the uh, sliding gunter again so it's down and stowed. Put a simple lash, a little bit of extra halyard off the end of the halyard there, makes a great sail tie. It's big, it's soft, it's easy to work with. To rig, it's pretty easy. Put the uh, mizzen in first, get it out of the way, and then step the uh, foot of this mast. I'll take a couple of turns with spare line around the thwart here to hold the mast in place so I can then walk forward and uh, clip the jib into place. <clears throat> Run the uh, sheets back. around the outside of the shrouds and through the fair lead. Get those ready to go. Pan over to the roller reefing. It's ready to be deployed all the way from the dock. A couple of turns uh, through the block there and then tie it off a couple of half inches. 
So not, not much to uh, rigging this boat. You do have to make sure when you're getting this upper uh, arm set, yard, gaff, gunter, somebody tell me what it's called, please. Make sure it'll be uh, clear of the uh, shrouds once it goes up. Can't remember which way what goes. Just remember the jibs on the forward. So that tang up there is the one it clips to. Then we'll come down, have a little bit of bound line ready to uh, go over the side. Skipper's usually in charge of the uh, dock line. Yeah, while well, I maneuver the trailer around, yeah, I'll see if I can get out of the boat without killing myself. Stepping down. We're fortunate to have a great trailer manufacturer here, Eddie English, in Milton, Florida. Built our trailer uh, custom for us. Kept uh, Audrey's grandpa's nice bronze winch on the front of it, though. But they, um, he built it low and wide so we can get into uh, some skinny water. And by low, I meant he put, they custom measured and built up the uh, bent frame. Put some nice uh, road tires on it, 13 inch. And they sent the trailer off to Halbert Galvanize. They brought it back and put all their, uh, all the bits on it. So it rides about as low as it can ride. Even the uh, even the axle has the uh, bin put into it, which created a little bit of issue with the nice uh, Suzuki motor we got from our buddy Gary at Lou's Marine and Gulf Breeze. It's relatively new. We're going to have to do a little adjustment. Right now, I can't get it raised up to the top notch and have it lock and clear the transom. But there's enough room there, I could move it back just a little bit. And what I'm gonna end up doing, putting a little shim here so the motor's tilted down just a little bit. I can go up another oops, shim here, go up another notch there if needed so the motor stays uh, vertical once it's down. And then everything should line up good. But just been busy doing other stuff since then. Here's the uh, motor. Lots of few things to remember. Got to get the little cap open on the top here. So tank will vent. Pull your choke. Make sure you're on the right fuel source. Crank the handle to start. And uh, give it a pull. It'll start up. In case you want to check your oil too. We carry a couple of just little thin seats and a couple of towels. In case you get out there, sun comes out a little more than we want. With these little guides on the side made putting it uh, didn't mean to rhyme. I think uh, putting it back on the trailer pretty easy. It'll boat kind of nestles there between the the guides and the uh, little plastic fenders in the back. And so this is 1980 Drascom Lugger Ankhai. Hope you all having a great day.